Hey. Hello. How are you doing? How are you? Well, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, really good. What's your name? Uh, my name is David. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Nice to meet you too, David. I'm Alex. Oh, Alex. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So where are you from, David? Uh, I'm from Korea. Where are you from? I'm from England. Wow. That's <laughs> yeah, awesome. pretty different, right? Yeah, nice. So um, what is your situation now? Are you at school? Uh, now in school. Now I go to school because in Korea, coronavirus is not that terrible. So I go to school. That's pretty lucky, to be honest. Oh, yeah. So I went to school <laughs> today. Yeah. Are you at home now or are you at school? Now I'm in home. Now it is Must 8. be like 8 p.m., right? Oh, yeah. 8 p.m. Wow. How do you know? I teach people from Korea sometimes. Yesterday, I spoke with a guy from Seoul. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's why yeah. I know all the time. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, Kambli is pretty popular in Korea. Oh, yeah. I think so, too. A lot of Korean people using Kambli. Yeah, but I think Korean people, I was, the guy who I was speaking to yesterday, he told me that you learn English from quite a young age. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, your English in South Korea is incredible, actually, compared to other countries. Oh, thank you for saying that. Uh, <laughs> How old are you, by the way? Uh, I'm 13 years old. And so... Man, your English is good for a 13-year-old, seriously. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> no problem. Um, so... You said that uh, schools are open now. What is everything open in oh, yeah. where you yeah. live? Yeah, in where I live, everything is open. If I wear a mask, I can go to everywhere in my city. I can go anywhere, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can go anywhere. Yeah, that's cool. So you just have to wear a mask and that's it? Oh, yeah, if I wear a mask and that's it. And what about you? Is it lockdown in uh -huh. where you live? Yeah, so, uh, well, actually, I have two answers. So... Um, right now, I'm actually living in Spain, oh, but yeah. um, in England, which is where I've been spending more time recently, um, yeah. it's lockdown, complete, complete national lockdown. So it's pretty bad. Um, oh yeah. At the end of December, um, the virus, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the virus was really bad um, yeah. because every, everybody wanted to spend time with their family at Christmas. Yeah. And so that made the virus go crazy. So in January, the government made a national lockdown and it's still like that now. The good news yeah. is two things. Number one, the lockdown is working really, really well. So the cases and the deaths have come down a lot. Oh. And That's... the other good thing is that we have about 40% of the yeah. adults uh, have received a vaccine. So that's good news oh well, um, so good. hopefully by the summer almost yeah. the whole country will be vaccinated and hopefully we will also get our lives back like in korea <laughs> oh yeah i hope so too i hope coronavirus will end soon you know because of coronavirus <clears throat> last summer i didn't go to swim or i didn't go to anywhere this summer i left them yeah yeah but what about summer. you did you do something in summer last summer um for me i had so last year I finished uh, university. Um, yeah. So my, I had about three months of university in lockdown and then I went back home to live with my parents just for a few months. Yeah. And summer was quite relaxed. In the UK, the virus wasn't so bad in the summer. So I could still play football. I could still play tennis and see my friends. So that was cool. And then, oh, wow. in, Octo and then in October, it started getting really bad and everything closed. Oh, I see. No, so in UK, the coronavirus was not too terrible, so you can play football with your friends and play sports and spending time with your friend. Um, that's right, but only in the summer. So when the first wave happened in March and April, yeah. March, April, May, it was really bad. That was that was national lockdown. But then eventually, in the summer, yeah. it was okay. So like it started really badly, then it was okay, and now it got bad again. <laughs> Oh, so now you can go to outside. Uh, yeah, you can. At the moment in the UK, everything is closed except supermarkets. But you can go out and go for a walk, do some exercise outside if you want. But the weather is so bad that nobody wants yeah. to. <laughs> uh, so now you're teaching English in Cam. I think you find Camley because because of coronavirus, you can go to outside. So you find something you can do in home. I think That's a hundred percent correct yeah so i in september i moved yeah. to spain with my friend 
and I was looking for a job in Spain because I'm learning Spanish, so I want to improve my my Spanish. Um, oh, yeah. But it was it was impossible to find a job because everything is closed. Well, everything has been opening, closing, opening, closing constantly here. So I thought, okay, it makes more sense to try and find a job online, which doesn't close and open. So this is great. Oh, well, I can't mm -hmm. be screen for you because you can teach in home, whatever is lockdown or not, you can yeah, teach. Teach from home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So it's, it's been really cool. And also I get to teach people from lots of different countries. So it's really cool. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah, I think that sounds like cool. Yeah. So what about you? What have you been? What are your hobbies? What do you do with your free time? Uh, I like to do sports like you. My mm -hmm. favorite sport is soccer. Yeah, nice. so I like to play soccer with my friends. And uh, and I also like to play catch ball with my brother. But these days, my brother don't like to play catch ball with me. Catch ball? What's that? Is that a sport or is that just like throwing a ball back and forward? Oh, yeah. Throwing a ball and back again. <laughs> Throwing a ball and yeah, catching nice. throwing a ball, yeah, like this over and over again. So, is uh, what are the most popular sports in in your country? In your country, most, in, in your country? country, yeah, in your country, which are the most popular sports? Like the top five. Uh, top five. Well, let me think. I think uh, ice skating, ice short track is famous in Korea, and what say again? Ice skating uh, and yeah, ice skating <clears throat> and short track. Ice skating, short track. Wow, is that like the one where you race in circles? Yeah, like a pretty small sucker. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, and what was it? it? Just wow, that's an interesting sport. I don't <clears throat> think that's very popular in the UK. Oh really? Is it popular in the UK? I don't think so. In the UK, I'll give you a quick top five. We like football, cricket. Yeah rugby um yeah what else i think hockey is quite popular maybe but oh yeah and tennis oh yeah i know hockey and tennis i i i saw uh, some players playing hockey and tennis yeah 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 oh have you ever tried hockey and tennis i well when i was at school um yeah. you play all different types of sports um each semester you change which sport you play so so one yeah. semester you play football, then rugby, then cricket, then hockey, then tennis. Yeah. So I played all of them at school, but the ones that I prefer myself, I'm crazy about football. I love football. I love oh, playing wow. it. I love watching it. And I also enjoy playing tennis. Yeah. And occasionally I play golf. Oh, wow. With that's my dad. <laughs> oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah, it's nice. So um, you were saying, so in Korea, you've got skate, ice skating, football. Yeah. Which, which other three do you think are popular? Uh, I think baseball is pretty popular mm. because my my school friends all like baseball, and dodgeball is pretty <clears throat> popular in Korea. That's cool. And do you know dodgeball? Yeah, I've played it a couple of times. It's scary. <laughs> oh yeah, but that's pretty fun, right? Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, and another two thing is, I think. Uh, Swimming is popular, like swimming fast, and and what else? Let me think. Uh, I can think of any more. Anyway, I think the yeah, Korean people like sports a lot. Yeah. Do you think, as a country, you're very like fit and healthy and like to do sports? Oh yeah, Korean people do like exercise and sports, like healthy. Things. I like that. That's really cool because I don't know in England a lot of people. I mean, yeah. I don't know, most of my friends really enjoy doing sports, but that's probably because, you know, I'm interested in sports, so I meet more people who like them. Um, oh, but well. what about um, the in the winter, like now in Korea, what's the weather like? Is it yeah. freezing cold or is it still nice to go outside and play sports? Uh, now is a little cold, but I can go to outside and play sports like soccer and <clears throat> yeah. Now winter is almost over, yeah. so yeah, when spring comes, maybe I can play sports a yeah. lot with my friends. That'd be great. And my brother. Do you get much? Um, do you get much free time, or do you have lots of schoolwork all the time? <clears throat> now I have a now I have a lot of free time, so yeah, I can do exercise and 
sport and I can also learn new things. Yeah, and what about um, Cambly? I mean, your English seems very, very good. So have you spent much? Have oh, you spent yeah. a lot of time on Cambly before? Oh yeah, I have been to Cambly for uh, ten months. <clears throat> well, eleven, ten wow. months, I think. Oh yeah, ten what months. What do you think of it? Uh, I think it's great because I can talk to a tutor from all around mm. the world, and I can hear different accent, and I can. Yeah, I can do a I can have a conversation with native speakers, so I think it's good. Yeah. So, what do you prefer? Who do? You, what's your normal routine with Cambly? Do you speak with a regular teacher each week, or do you choose somebody different every time? Uh, I change tutor every time. Wow. So. Oh yeah. Why do you? Why is that your preferred way of doing it? Uh, because I want to hear lots of different accents. That's why I change tutor every time. Oh, yeah, I think that's the reason. Yeah, that's good. Just so you know, um, I'm from the south yeah. of England. So in case you were wondering about my accent, I am from the south. So this is a typical southern English accent. So this is like the Queen's oh, yeah. English. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're UK accent. Yeah, right? the thing is, um, having a, a UK accent doesn't really mean anything because there's like hundreds of different accents in England and in Wales and Scotland and in Northern Ireland that they're extremely oh, yeah, different. Know. So I'm from the South of England. That's very, do you know what posh means? Like very, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that's our accent is like very, like the Royal family. <laughs> oh yeah. So what, what do you find yeah. easiest? Which accent to understand? Uh, I, and the easiest to understand, I think American uh, American accent is pretty easy to he understand. Yeah, and um, the guy from Seoul who I spoke to yesterday, he told me that you guys yeah. learn American English, right? Oh yeah, that's, that's probably right. why it's the easiest because it's normal for you. Oh yeah, I think that is pretty normal for me. But yeah, if I get fluent in in U.S. accent, maybe I can learn. UK accent too. What do you mean? If learn to li learn to understand it or learn to speak it? Uh, oh, what? What are? Uh, I what? Sorry, what um, do you mean? You said you want to learn a UK accent. Do you mean learn to speak with the accent, or do you mean learn to understand the UK accent? Uh, I like to learn and listen and speak wow. both. If I. That yeah. would be cool. So when you go like to, to England, you can speak like an English person. And when you go to America, you can speak like an American. Yeah, I wish I could do that. One yeah, day. that's cool. Um, so I guess one day you would like to go to an English speaking country. Have you got any idea where you would like to go? Oh, yeah, I, I think of that idea every time. Uh, I want to visit the United States because, you know, now I'm learning United American accent, so I like to visit America. Yeah, you say, I and would like. I think to, America I would like is a big to, country. I would like to. Oh yeah, visit. I would like to visit America. Yeah, that would be really cool. I would also love to go to the United States one day because I don't know. I think it's the idea of doing a really big road trip where you get a car and you go maybe for a few months from city to city and you see all of the cool stuff. Uh, I like that idea. Sounds oh like, yeah, sounds nice. Uh, I know in the United States we can do lots of fun things and we can also sell lots of cool stuff and buy lots of things. Yeah, I think that's a nice idea because um, f personally I love traveling. I love seeing new places. I've been traveling a few times before where I've found oh, something wow. uh, in a country which I love and I don't know, it, I feel like I'm missing out on there's so many good things to see around the world i want to see as much as possible before i have like a child in the future <laughs> oh well me too i like to see lots of things because that's why i like to travel too and if i grow if i grow up maybe i like to be a traveler because i like to travel. yeah so have you been to any cool places outside of korea oh uh, yeah i've been to guam guam and do yep. you know what is it is it? Oh, wow. uh, I could be wrong here. I've heard of Guam, but is it an island in Malaysia, uh, Indonesia? 
uh, it's a Guam in Pacific Ocean. It's an island in Pacific yeah. Ocean. Is it a, is Guam a country itself, or is it an island as a part of another country? Uh, it's an island. It belongs to US. Oh, belong? Does it? Wow, I need to look on Google because uh, <laughs> I like um, uh, I like geography. <laughs> I studied um, geography at school and a little bit at university, so I need to see where it is because yeah. I need to know these things because people know that I study geography and if I don't know where somewhere is, it's bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. 